Good morning and welcome to the Take Your Life Back Today show. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach. I am your host and I am a child of God. Today is very early in the morning again, about 5.30 on this Saturday, September 16th. As you can tell, the sun hasn't even come out yet, but I am out here to bring a message to you that you can tell the difference between a person that is genuine and a person that is phony. Phony people, no matter how much you try to avoid them, they always seem to be, find their way into your life and stay in your life. Here are some signs how to tell who they might be that are surrounding you. Number one is respect. A genuine person will respect everything deserving of respect. A phony person will respect only those with power. So a uh, a genuine person will respect everything deserving your respect. A phony person will only respect those with power. How ironic that might be. Number two is getting along with people. A genuine pe person uh, will never try to make people like them. They will always be themselves and hopefully get uh, accepted by that. A phony person will always try to have people like them no matter what and whatever it might take. Number three is attention. Genuine people don't try to gain attention by, uh, <clears throat> uh, but they will try, they don't try to, t genuine people don't try to gain attention by any means. Phony people, on the other hand, will always seek attention from other people. Number five, I believe it is, bragging. Genuine people don't feel the need to brag. However, Phony people will brag as much as they can and inflate everything about themselves or anything in their life. Number six, opinions. Genuine people will speak out when they have something on their mind. Phony people will never have the courage to do this. They will hold it inside and talk about you behind your back. Number seven, commitments. Genuine people will always try to live up to their promises, phone and phonies will make commitments and never ever keep them. Empty promises, empty words, empty actions. Number eight, admiration. Genuine people don't have a problem admiring others for their abilities. Phony people will not admit if someone else is doing something good, sometimes even better than themselves. Number nine is helpfulness. Genuine people are nice and helpful most of the time. Phony people, on the other hand, will help out only if there's something they can get out of it, something to gain. So phony person is helping you, my friends. You should know that they are getting something from it. Even if you can't put your finger on it, they are trying to get something from you. Put the people you know through these nine different steps and see how many will fail this particular test. You can call it a litmus test if you'd like. Now that you think um, uh, about this particular test, how many phony people do you know? How many phony people are in your life? Remember, these are the nine things. Respect. Re genuine people will always respect you. Phony people will only respect you if you have power. Number two is getting along with people. Genuine people always get along with everyone else. Phony people will always uh, have to like people uh, uh, only if they get something out of it. Attention. Genuine people don't try to get attention by any means. Phony people are attention seekers. Friends bragging. Phony people. Uh, genuine people don't need to feel. They don't feel the need to brag. Phony people will brag as much as they can and inflate everything around them and create chaos that way. Number, uh, the next one is opinion. Genuine people speak out when they have something to say. Phony people will never do this. They will hold it inside and talk behind your back. Can you, uh, commitments. Genuine people always have uh, try to live up to their promises. Phony people will make commitments, empty promises, empty words, empty actions at the end. Admiration. Genuine people don't have a problem admiring others uh, for their abilities. Phony people, on the other hand, will admit if some, will never admit if something. Well, these gnats this one. Phony people will never admit if someone is doing something good, sometimes even better than them. Helpfulness. Genuine people are nice and helpful 
most of the time. Phony people will only help when something uh, is uh, worth their time or they can gain something out of folks. If you have a phony person in your life, or if you suspect there's a phony person in your life, take this particular test. Utilize this test. See if they have respect, if they get along with other people, if they're attention seekers, if they brag out of order, if they're uh, uh, not opinionated at all because they hide everything to stab you in the back, uh, if there are commitments, admiration, and helpfulness. I know for a fact that each and every one in my audience, each and every one of you guys out there, know a phony person. If you do have phony people in your life, isn't it time to, to maybe uh, call them out on it and put them aside? Because remember this, that positive people give you positive results. Positivity is contagious, but the phony people are the negative people in your life that need to go. They need to be pushed aside because I want you, my friends, to be like me and so many millions of other people that live around positive people. For an example, at my job, when I first came, uh, <clears throat> when I first came there, there was this one particular person that was about as uh, uh, negative as you can come. And I made a promise to uh, the rest of the crowd, the, the crew there, and to myself that my positivity will overwind this particular person, or this person probably wouldn't be there anymore because they feel out of place. Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you happily today that this person is go lucky, happy, and positive each and every day. That's not to say that I had something personally to do with it. It is my positive outlook in life, my positive aura that I uh, uh, kind of uh, display in each and every day, in each and every action that I do, that made this person a more go lucky person. Why don't you start today? Today is September 16th, Saturday morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. Surrounding yourself with positive people and call out the phony people in your life. Don't let the phony people take advantage of you. Don't let them run you. Remember, God has given you 86,400 seconds to live today. 86,400 seconds to breathe a new lease on life. Take a few of those seconds to thank Him. Thank Him for giving you a home, a relationship, health, money, a job. Ask Him each and every day for guidance and directions. My, my friends, without the power of prayer, nothing is possible in life. With the power of prayer, everything and anything is possible in life, no matter what you're going through in life. If you're having financial issues, relationship issues, if you're having job issues or health issues, Get on your knees and ask God to guide and direct you and ask, tell God how much you love and depend on Him and how much uh, uh, show God by how much you uh, depend and love Him by changing the actions in your life. Let today be the first day of your new life, September 16, 2017, beautiful Sunday morning, uh, Saturday morning at 6 a.m. I'm sitting here in the dark with a flashlight and my script to let you know that there are nine signs that can reveal if a person is genuine or phony, and I want you to please call out those phony people, because phoniness means negative, and negativity breeds negativity. So if you want to be, live a positive life, if you want to be positive in your life, you need to surround yourself with positive people in your life, and there's no other uh, being uh, that's more positive than being part of God's family. And you can do that just by praying, Heavenly Father, I ask you to forgive me for all my sins. Heavenly Father, I ask you to guide and direct me each and every day, each and every step that I make. Heavenly Father, I thank you for allowing me to wake up and giving me another 86,400 seconds to, to not only live but to praise you. Heavenly Father, I ask you, to guide and direct me for the rest of my life. In your name, I amen. Let today be the first day of your new life. I depend on you folks to spread the positive word of God around and spread the positivity of your personality around, and I ask and beg you to eliminate the negative people in your life. And the simplest way to, neg uh, to, to eliminate those people is by you, my friends, just moving past them and surrounding yourself with positive people. Call me at 844-405-HELP, and together, together you and I can help each other take our lives back. And may God bless you always.